Arsenal Fan TV here. I've just uh, been taking a little walk, chilling by the uh, the local lake, and um, I don't know what's going on. What's happening at Arsenal? I wanted to ask you actually. Do you know? Does anybody out there know? Lots of people have been uh, getting in contact with me and saying we're going to sign this person, we're going to sign that person, and nothing's happened. And it is so so frustrating right now. I don't know how you feel, but I feel personally really frustrated. I'm waking up in the mornings. I'm getting my laptop out. I'm scouring around trying to find out who's coming. I'm ringing up people, uh, contacts I've got. And, you know, nobody seems to know what's happening. I know that when you're doing deals at a club, you've got to keep a lot of things under wraps. You, you know, you can't reveal everything that's going on. But to me, I've been, I've got to say, I've been very disappointed with Arsenal so far in this transfer window. We were promised that we've got loads of money to spend. And I thought that what we were going to do, we were going to go in really aggressive, you know, change our whole policy, identify our targets and just say, right, you, mate, we want you, 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 and go and get it done. And we're not doing that. We're not getting it done. I mean, we've been linked with Higuain. Now that's in doubt. We might not get Higuain. We've been linked with this whole Suarez thing. Liverpool are going to be in a great position. He's still got years left on his contract. If we do get Suarez, it'll be a lot of money. But I'm just seeing targets just disappear. And it's so frustrating at the moment with Arsenal. And as I said, the thing that I am most upset about is that we still seem to have the same policy of sitting and waiting, making Man City, Chelsea, those sort of clubs get their business done and then seeing what's left. That's what it seems to me. We're not being aggressive. We're not going out there and getting our targets and getting them done. We still seem to be worrying about price. We still seem to be worrying about who else is in for a player. And I'm a bit worried at the moment because if we don't pull off somebody like Higuain or Suarez, again, it's going to be another bad transfer window. Fellaini, we were told they were interested in Fellaini, but they're moaning about the price. Activate the release clause. We got the money. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be looking at this video and they're going to be saying, listen, be patient, Robbie. Uh, we're being patient. But you've got to, if you're changing your policy, you've got to do something for the fans. Get in one big sign in at least. Bring that person in. Get everybody buzzing. I mean, to me, that's why the tickets haven't been selling that great for the um, Emirates Cup because people are so disappointed and on the whole I've, I've put it out there to a lot of people and people have been disappointed with what's been going on so far so I don't know what's going to happen this week I'm hoping and praying that this is going to be the week where something big happens at Arsenal that we do bring in a big sign in you know we just got to wait I suppose you have to well we've got no choice we're going to have to be patient but I mean People were saying before, wait until July the 1st, we're going to get it done. Nothing's been done. And I'm watching Chelsea are getting things done. City have got things done. You look at all the big clubs across Europe, they're all getting things done. Arsenal, the same old sitting and waiting thing. They've got a very similar policy to teams like Tottenham, where they just sit and wait till the end of the window. And even Tottenham have gone out there and bought in a marquee sign in, in, in um, that Brazilian that they got. I don't even want to call his name Paulinho up. But they've, they've got out and got a big sign in. What have we done? So I'm hoping that this week is going to be a big week and that we will get some uh, players in. All I can say is if we do get Luis Suarez, a lot of people have been asking me my opinion. What do I think about the Luis Suarez thing? Listen, this is my opinion. He's a brilliant player. He would be awesome at Arsenal if we can get him. He would be absolutely awesome. As a black fan, i still got a problem with Suarez, though. I never really heard him come out and apologise for what he got done for, the racism part. And I still have a problem with that. Listen, I'm a fan. I'm an old school fan. I used to go to football back in the day where when you went to teams like Chelsea, Millwall, Leeds... Those fans were racist. I mean, there was many ground. It weren't like now, mate. A lot of fans who follow Chelsea now, I have to remind them, listen, it weren't always like that down there at the bridge. It used to be terrible. Now, one of the reasons why, you know, apart from being, you know, a, a North Londoner, one of the reasons why I loved Arsenal is that when you went to Arsenal, you never ever had any of that. Even back in the day, it always was welcoming to all types of fans, black, wherever, whatever culture. 
and still to this day there's a lot a, a real diverse mix of fans at Arsenal and I think if Suarez comes in there will need to be some sort of statement about that whole racism thing because there are still a lot of fans that still have a problem with it my brother's saying to me he ain't going if Suarez comes in that's how strongly he feels about it so Suarez would have to make some sort of an apology or say something on the issue because it is a very important issue but as a player if we were able to pull off the signing of Luis Suarez I mean all right Arsenal always be forgiving it would really shock me because I wasn't expecting us to go for him and he there's no doubt about it he's definitely one of the best strikers in the world at the moment but let's just get something done please Arsenal I can't take another week like this. Let's hope that this is the week when something big gets done. Well, I'm just going to go for another walk down the lake. Uh, there's a pub down the road. Get myself a couple of beers. Don't forget, we've got uh, Arsenal Fan TV t-shirts. Loading them. Check out the website. We're, we're flogging loads of them right now. Really cheap. And they're, they're selling like hotcakes. If you want to get hold of one, just check out the website. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to us. This is Arsenal Fan TV. I'm hoping that this week we'll have a video where I'm talking positive about a massive announcement of a signing. By the way, whatever happened to Etienne Kapoue?